welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a pattern review um, of the Closet Case Patterns Carolyn Pajamas. And I actually did a vlog of me making it and I'll um, link that up here. So I'm going to stand up real quick. <laughs> I made it out of this um, brushed cotton gingham print from Guthrie and Ghani and I picked it up um, a couple months ago. So I think it still should be there. I made the version with the cuffs and then I put some um, piping, I hope you guys can see that, some piping along the cuffs and on the collar. I made the long sleeve version um, with shorts and I left the pocket off uh, just because I didn't, I didn't really see a point in putting the pocket there so I didn't do that. <laughs> so um, this is definitely one of the most advanced patterns that I've made and I'm very proud of myself <laughs> that I did it. Um, it took me three days but I felt so accomplished afterwards. Um, it took me about like a day and a half um, to make the top. So uh, the first day I made the top and then um, all I had to do was I think put buttons on and like you know hem it and all that stuff so I got like the majority of the work done on day one and that took me about eight hours <laughs> it was very long um but I'm gonna sew slower and I wanted to take my time with this um I did have some difficulty reading the instructions and figuring it out on how to do the collar so um I went on the closet case patterns blog and they made a so long tutorial. Yes, so long a tutorial on it. I guess it's kind of interchangeable there. But yeah, so they um, did that for the collar, and that actually helped me. I want to say the collar is what took the longest um, amount of time because I kept trying to like figure out how to put it on, and it was just kind of fiddly for me. And I think that's just because I haven't really done a whole lot of collars, especially not a notched one. So that was. Um, definitely the hardest part of the top for me and took up the majority <laughs> of my time. Um, then the next day I finished, like it took three days, I don't know if I said that already, so it took me three days. So the first like day um, was getting like, you know, the shell of the garment top done and then day two was um, putting on buttons and hemming and basically just finishing the top. And then I made a muslin um, on for the shorts on day two as well. So um, this fabric came out of my stash and it was actually from um, my Aunt Debbie, her fabric stash. <laughs> she uh, mailed um, all her fabric stash and stuff to me um, a couple months ago. And so this was a flannel that was in there. So I used this because it has kind of like the, it's pretty much the same material. Um, so I made the muslin and this took half a day and so changes that I ended up making on the shorts were I did not like how the cuffs were a little bit tighter around my thighs than I liked. So what I did was um, instead of using the standard seam allowance, which I can't remember what it was off the top of my head because it's been a while, I want to say maybe 3 eighths or 5 eighths of an inch, I made the seam allowance a quarter of an inch and because I finished all my seams on the serger and it cuts away all that excess fabric I thought you know it would be okay to do a quarter of an inch and it actually ended up working. Um, the pant the shorts still fit me really well and they're a little bit looser around my thighs which is what I like they're more comfortable and then the elastic called for an inch and a half um, I ended up changing that because what had happened was when I sewed um, the casing and then pulled the elastic through. You see right here how it kind of curled under um, and created this weird effect right here. I don't know what you would call that. So that really bothered me because it wasn't laying flat. So what I did was I still sewed the casing um, per the instructions. I just put an inch and a quarter elastic in there and it ended up fitting much better. Um, Oh yeah, I can't, I can't really show you, so, but yeah, it ended up laying flat, it didn't have any of that bunching effect, and um, yeah, so didn't make any changes for the top, for the shorts, um, did a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and then used one and a quarter inch elastic, so those were the only two changes that I made. 
So the instructions were pretty well written, um, except for, like I said, I kind of had difficulty understanding with the notched collar, so um, they had a tutorial for that, so that was worked out perfect for me. Um, other than that, really good written instructions. Um, the fit is pretty good. Let's see what else can I talk about. Um, yeah, not really a whole lot more to say other than I really enjoyed this pattern. Um, if you guys are thinking about making it and you're a little intimidated by it, um, don't be. I was very intimidated, but um, I took my time, and I think that's what it helped because one of my um, things that I want to change about my sewing this year is to not rush. Um, I had a really bad problem doing that last year. I just wanted to like finish a project so I could share with you guys, and I was focusing more on quantity of stuff I was making than quality. So this year I decided to really take my time, slow down, and if a project takes more than a day, hey, I'm okay with that. And I think I proved to myself that that's definitely the way to go because I don't think I would have been as successful making these um, as if I just rushed through it. So really great pattern, really great garment, and I'm uh, very proud of myself. And um, I think you guys should give this a try if you're thinking about it. So, um, like I said, I did, I think I said this in the beginning, I, <laughs> I did a vlog, so um, I'll link that um, in the video as well in the description box below if you guys want to um, see my journey making these. And if you want to see more pattern reviews or um, if you like these kind of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment below letting me know um, what do you guys look for in a pattern review. That way, um... I can give more useful information because I'm still not entirely sure what all you want to know about a pattern. So um, definitely uh, give me some feedback below letting me know. And then please follow me on Instagram. If you're not, my username will be on the insulates coming up. And uh, please hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you all in my next video. Bye.